Hello and welcome back to The Woodshop. Today is May Timber 2nd and I have an awesome project for you today. Actually, it's multiple projects, but technically the same. So you'll see in a second. But first, the new Amazon Lord of the Rings series came out today. I'm not like sponsored by them or anything. I've just been stoked about it for like years. So I'm filming this like uh, a few weeks before today for you and your time. So I don't know what it's like. If you've seen it, write a comment down below. Today's project is charcuterie boards. I've already cut out a few of these and I posted them on my Instagram and I immediately had a ton of people get in touch and say, hey, where can I buy that? I haven't started selling them yet, but it's funny to me that some of the more simple projects that you post online are the ones that people actually want. And the ones that you spend days, if not weeks, perfecting are the ones that people are like, eh, don't really want it that bad. So this is a charcuterie board, serving board type thing that you can do out of multiple types of wood. Today I'm gonna to be using black walnut and I have two pieces of that. They are eight inches wide, 48 inches long. Now, if you don't have a machine that can cut 48 inches long, don't worry about it, it's perfectly fine. One of these boards is going to be 46 inches long and then two of them are gonna be 22 inches long. So out of these two boards, we're gonna be able to cut three boards out and then we'll go over the pricing, what I think you can do later. Just like yesterday, we are using this quarter inch downtown Jenny bit to do all of our profiling passes. And what that's gonna do is allow us to get nice clean cuts on our walnut. I'm gonna be doing a depth of cut at 0.1 inch and then my inches per minute are going to be run at 120 inches per minute. If you just heard a truck pull up, that's somebody that I'm selling a tool to on Facebook Marketplace. I'll let you know how that went in a second. Sold! Facebook Marketplace for the win. All right, so I got some, some hundreds, which is nice and he knocked me down $100, which always price things more expensive than you actually wanna sell them because people walk away feeling good about, this isn't about Facebook Marketplace, let's get back to it. So same thing as yesterday, except I'm just putting a single strip. These boards are eight inches wide, and the reason that I'm doing that is because the bed goes up to 32 inches, which means that I can put four of these boards on this if I'm doing a lot of batching. So if I'm doing these 46 inch long boards, I can do four of them, and if I'm doing the 22 inch long ones, I can do eight of them all at one time. I've messed around with these sizes a whole lot. I've done some small ones. One second, sneak peek into what these are gonna look like, but this is one of these small ones that I've done in the past. And it's a pretty good size, honestly. I do think that it'd be good for like some crackers or whatever. And this would sell for a lot cheaper than the other ones. But I do think it is too small. So let's go ahead and cut them out. dust boot holder right here is made by one of the supporters of Make Timber. You can check him out. He's got a discount code down below if you'd like to look into this. And the really cool thing is he also sells these magnetic plates that match up with the size bit that you're using and it makes things a lot better for your suction and you're not having to switch out these plates with screws anymore. They just magnetically pop in there. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. So my tabs kind of worked, but kind of didn't work. I don't know. I don't know how to use tabs. Okie dokie. So we've got our three boards, our two sizes of boards. Let's take them over to the assembly table. All right, so I've got all these cut out, and as you can see, pretty good size. I'm happy with the size of this as well as this. I think that this is going to be a big seller, but it's also gonna have a big price tag. We'll get on price in a second. First, let me go ahead and sand these. I'm gonna start at 120 and then go up to 220, and then I will round over the sides with an eighth inch round over, just like I did for yesterday's, and then we'll finish them. Once again, I'm just using mineral oil. This is just a very easy finish. Uh, most of the projects that I'm gonna be doing for Make Timber are gonna be mineral oil finishes. If you like my shirt, I have a uh, link down in the description below. It just says, I don't do kitchen cabinets. I also don't do spoons. Those are two things that I feel like I'm constantly telling people. Yesterday, when I was making those bow bread knives I said that one of them would make more sense tomorrow, which is now today. The reason that it makes more sense goes right here. So if somebody is hanging this up in their kitchen, 
They fit well together. They look like they're meant to be. I think it turned out pretty good. I know that at the very start of this, I said, hey, what do y'all think about the new Amazon Lord of the Rings series? I really meant it. It's a while till I'll be able to see it, but I'm sure that some of y'all have already seen it today. Is it good? Just let me know. Maybe it's like the worst thing that's ever been created. But I do realize that they're trying to like bring the dwarves back before in the Peter Jackson films. They were like a source of comedy, comedic relief. And uh, it kind of did the dwarves dirty, in my opinion. The dwarves are super sick. Honestly, cooler than the elves. Maybe you disagree. Let me know. All right, we're about to start talking about how much these puppies should be. One million dollars. I think that you should sell these for 65 to 85 dollars a piece. I think you should sell this from 100 to 160 a piece. Now, a lot of y'all out there just either said, whoa, that's way too much, or ah, eh, I think that's a fair price. It's all going to be based on what you can sell in your local area. I realize that not everybody's going to the store to buy lumber and spending $12 a board foot on walnut. The amount of walnut that I just put in there, that was over $80 worth of walnut. And it's because it is five quarter material that was planed down to exactly an inch thick. And it costs a lot of money to have furniture grade walnut that you're using in your projects. Some of y'all might say, oh, well, Jimmy down the road sells me walnuts for a pack of cigarettes and a beer. You know, like that's great for you. Is that sustainable for your business long term? So when I'm pricing things, I do it based off of Joe Schmo walking into the store, opening up an account with a brand new lumber store in my area, FAS Walnut, five quarter, is actually over $12 a board foot, but I feel like $12 is fair. I'm about to just drop a bunch of wisdom when concerning these because I do think that if you're brand new to the CNC world, you should really start off with a project like this, especially if you're looking to get into this hobby to sell stuff. If you're looking to make a small business for yourself, this will sell. I will prove that in about a month when I do my Maker's Artisan Fair at the very end of October. I'll have a full-blown video on that. So when you're setting your products up and you're taking this to a boutique store saying, hey, this is something that I can make that I would love to be able to sell in your shop, the first thing they're going to ask you is, how much money do you need to sell that for? Before just throwing out a blanket number and just hoping that you can get your product into the door, you have to realize that you're bringing a lot to them. You're bringing a product that they don't have to order off of line, that they now have somebody in the community that can make specialized things. If you have a CNC, you can not only say, hey, you can buy this blank, but also for a $10 upcharge, you can have your name on this, or you can say thankful or grateful or all kinds of different holiday slogans you can put on these for the different times of year. So when looking at pricing on objects just like this, really realize that you're bringing a ton of stuff to the table. Out at the farmer's market, I would be selling just these two versions, the large version and the medium version. I will be selling this for $60 and I will be selling this for $100. That is in person, that is cash, that is not having to deal with shipping or anything like that. If you want to and you got your walnut for 50 cents and a cigarette and you want to sell these for $15 a piece online and you feel good about that, by all means do it. Somebody's gonna order a hundred of them and you're gonna realize that you are not making any money whatsoever and it's going to turn into something where you are gonna work your butt off for an entire weekend and then realize that you didn't make any money because you're selling it for so cheap. Believe in your products, understand that you're selling something that is unique, that is handcrafted, as well as the story behind it. There's a lot of people out there that wanna buy handmade stuff just so that they can have this at a party and somebody say, oh, where'd you get that from? And they can say, oh, there's a local maker. His name is Hamilton Dilbeck. He creates this really cool wooden stuff. I just love being able to buy anything that he puts out there. That story alone is worth the price that you're charging for this stuff. Don't sell yourself short. Charge what you're worth. Value your time. Care about what you create. All right, sorry, I got a little soapboxy there. I got this for tomorrow's project. I bet you can't guess what it is. Huge shout out to the supporters of Make Timber. They are giving away some awesome stuff at the very end of this month. If you don't know, I'm doing a live show on October 1st, which is a Saturday on my channel. There should be a page that you can actually subscribe to or show that you're waiting for it, or I really don't know how that works. The live show could end up being just a horrible mishap. 
Either way, I think it'll be entertaining. Thank y'all for stopping by the woodshop today. I will see y'all tomorrow.